minutes ago, I signed a declaration of disaster um, as we have hundreds of thousands of customers without power, that is Encore customers without power um, here in Dallas County. Um, and uh, there's also Garland Power uh, customers without power. This is not a generation problem like we sometimes have when it's cold or in the heat of the summer. This is a broken lines problem brought about by straight line winds. This is a multi-day event just to get the power back on. Not the news many Texans living in storm-battered counties want to hear as they face a long recovery from devastating property damage with temperatures rising. At one point Tuesday, over 1 million customers in that state were without electricity, according to PowerOutage.us. Crews have been making progress, but hundreds of thousands of homes and businesses remain without service Wednesday. We're doing food distribution and cooling shelters, but uh, it's really tough on those people who have been without power. Texas was among the hardest hit states in a wave of deadly storms that moved through the central and southern U.S. over Memorial Day weekend. More punishing storms Tuesday blew in on wind gusts that neared 80 miles an hour. And all of a sudden, like, boom, everything just fell down. We just heard ruckus everywhere around us, so, you know, we rushed in the bathroom. These residents survived but are out of a home. Their apartments declared uninhabitable by local authorities. Closer to Houston, a 16-year-old worker was killed when a severe thunderstorm toppled a home under construction in Magnolia, confirmed the fire department there. There's a possibility of more storms uh, in the next couple of days, and so we may see more uh, damage that will have to be fixed. Forecasters are tracking more severe storms for the central U.S. Thursday, from Texas north through the Dakotas. Thank you. 